Uh, la last night, it was discussed uh, voter registration, IDs for oh, yeah, driver's yeah. license. Oh, so here's what I found out at home last night. Uh, they gave me a voter registration uh, form, Arkansas voter registration form. Even though you have to show your ID when you go to vote, you don't have to prove you're a citizen to register to vote. And uh, I heard Jan Morgan say, Lance Hines, city director, called her and said, we got all these non-citizens with these picture IDs. And I don't remember what she said she was trying to do about it. I, I, I think trying to get a bill passed in the legislature. But that's got to stop. That's got to stop. And, and it will if I'm governor. Thank you. Appreciate your patience. Carolyn, I mentioned you earlier that you were running from another meeting, so um, I did mention that you were on the Education Committee, and as Moms for Liberty, that is something that we are going to need partners in that on that committee, so I didn't know if you wanted to stand up and say hi, Representative Carolyn Brown. I caught you with your mouth full. <laughs> I'm, I'm Representative Carolyn Brown. Are you just working? Uh, not working. Um, I currently represent District 41, uh, which has been reconfigured, uh, but it includes a good bit of Sherwood, a tiny bit of North Little Rock, and a tiny bit of Jacksonville. I am on the Education Committee, and um, I truly believe in school choice. I believe that ultimately my, my goal, my, if I could have my wish, every child would have school choice. Tax dollars would follow the child. Amen. That, that's still a long, hard slog. Just because I want it doesn't make I can, mean I can make it happen overnight. But it is something, uh, you know, there are so many people who vote against every school choice bill, even when it's a limited number of scholarships for disabled children or uh, learning disabled or, or what have you. Um, I, I ran one of the bills in the House. I believe it was 26 election integrity bills that we did arrive because that was brought up. I wanted to address that. We ran, I uh, believe we passed 26 or we passed all but just like a few. We ran a bunch. There were a whole bunch of us working on election integrity. The Heritage Foundation has identified Arkansas as one of the top 10 states in the country that have buttoned up their election integrity laws. So we're doing pretty good. But where there are people who want to do something corrupt, they will find a way. Um, my, the particular bill that I ran in the House, and it passed, and I was called names on the House floor when I was presenting the bill, and I thought it was, I thought it was one of the simplest, easiest, no-brainer bills anybody could run because having been a poll watcher and a poll worker, I knew that people are not supposed to do electioneering within that 100 feet outside the door. But we had a group in Pulaski County and other parts of the state, I believe, who were setting up tables, uh, for instance, at the North Little Rock Library, set up a table right there at the door as you go in to vote, and they were handing out uh, food, sandwiches, water, different things like that. I didn't see it, so I'm just remembering what, what somebody has said. But they also had materials and banners and things on their table. Whether it was for a specific candidate or specific issues, they were electioneering. So, anyway, you stay out of, I mean, that 100 foot space is sacrosanct. And I never believed I would get the pushback from the Democrats that I got when I presented that on the House floor. I was called Jim Crow, I was called racist, I was called everything under the sun. And I thought, I thought this was going to be an easy bill. <laughs> anyway, but that, that's where we stand. And I just came from the Republican Lawyers Association meeting, and the topic was election integrity. The thing is, 
it's, it's groups like this, and I, the reason I wanted to come, and I won't talk long, uh, I wanted to come, it's because people are going to make the difference. Yes. yes. You can yeah. rant and rave and curse and swear, throw things at the TV, and call your state reps, email your reps, do all of that stuff. They, they have to operate within a government system. It's the people's voices, the people who spoke out in Virginia, the people who are speaking out in um, that Ukraine. It is the people who are making the difference. We can represent you, but you are the ones who are going to make the difference. And what is so important is go down there and take the training and become a poll worker. Get trained and become a poll watcher. Because if they know you're watching, they're less likely to mess around. The first, the first time I was a poll worker, I had just taken the training. And one of the, the things that you can do to try to make sure that the right person is the one who's voting, you're sitting there at the desk, somebody comes up and they want to vote, you've got the book in front of you, they tell you their name, you're supposed to ask them what their address is. You're not supposed to say, oh, do you live at 123 Poplar Street? No, that says yes. <laughs> well, the lady next to me was doing that. And I said, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to ask them. She said, who are you? I've done this for years, and that's how we've always done it. Well, the chief judge actually went to church with her. Not that that should have made any difference, but I told Laura what was going on, and I said, I'm right. And I said, you need to call and, and get this cleared up, and she needs to quit doing that. Well, she did, and she was told and she didn't share any more of her cookies with me.